Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. The issue of Volame Tinibu leading 1,411 delegates to the COP28 summit in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is still generating a lot of reaction. But guess what? Presidency have decided to speak up, considering the rate of reactions from Nigeria. If you check our previous post, you're going to see what Peter Obi has said, and also one of Nigerian top-notch journalist talking about uh, Rofai Oseni has also reacted to it. Dada Olusegun, uh, who is a presidential aide, has decided to address the outrage in a post on Sunday explaining that the summit is not exclusive to government officials or civil servants. He clarified that the United Nations has requested various organizations and private sector members to submit a list of their delegates with a significant number of them being sponsored by entities such as the World Bank and the European Union. Lusegun emphasized that the federal government's responsibility only extends to providing for its immediate staff, which forms a small fraction of the total delegate. He stressed that President Tinibu is keenly aware of the need to avoid wastage, especially at a time when efforts are being made to reduce unnecessary expenditure. He further elaborated that the Climate Change Summit is not specific to just government officials. It is also include those of the National Council on Climate Change, the Federal Ministry of Environment, the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs, NSAI, NGOs, and many others. In addition, Olusegun highlighted that the United Nations had also approached several private sector members, including notable figures such as Al Hadi, Linko Dangote, and Tune Lumelu, to nominate their representative for the summit. He emphasized that the delegation list has always comprised a small fraction of Nigerian government officials as per the organizers' request to accompany date diverse interests. Furthermore, he underscore that Nigeria's delegation list is inclusive, encompassing both government and non-government representatives, thereby en- ensuring the representation of a wide spectrum of interests. The response from the presidency aims to provide clar- clarity and context to the controversy surrounding the delegation list, shedding light on the broader framework within which the selection a process took place and a diverse range of stakeholders involved. Another um, government, or let me say, APC stakeholder who was also a presidential spokesperson, whose name is also in the list, is also in attendance in that meeting, also reacted to it, talking about Bashir Ahmed. Get to hear exactly what he has to say. Bashir shared his nomination form. Uh, which was forwarded to United Arab Emirates. And he, in his post, he says, it is honorable to clarify that not all Nigerian delegates attending hashtag COP23 in Dubai are sponsored by the federal government. As a duly nominated delegate myself, I can attest that many individuals, including myself, are representing Nigeria independently. Our involvement is not tied to government sponsorship. It is noteworthy that a diverse group of delegates from Nigeria is present, spanning various sectors while some represent state government. A specific number are from the private sector. Please consider this information for the records to ensure an accurate understanding of the Nigerian delegation composition. He brought out his nomination uh, form to show to Nigeria. But guess what? Nigerians are still very uncomfortable with it because at, at this point, the presidential post spokesperson should have realized that the the people who are in attendance there are not doing it from their own purses. They are doing it from taxpayers' purse. For that reason, clarity is expected. Clarity is expected from the beginning that the president will be attending a conference in Dubai with this number of delegates. You clearly spell out everything for Nigerians to understand. Because without that, how would Nigerians believe you? Just like someone says here, the person asks Bashid a question. He said, Bashid, you and I know this needless controversy is because the Nigerian president has not put out the, there, the list of those officially been funded with taxpayers' money is releasing the list of the federal government delegation that, that's difficult or 
are Nigerian asking for too much? Exactly. That would have solved the problem. But the big question is, why are they hiding such public information? Why didn't they let Nigerians understand? And, you know, a lot of people even took out time to blast uh, Bashir Ahmed. Some people said uh, someone like you is coming out to tell us the truth when you were behind all the information that uh, Buhari retrogressive government was filing out. Some other person here, straight to him, said um, said Hi, Bashi. Do you think that we should believe you? You that whitewashed uh, the disaster of last eight years, lying bang of woes. Another person here, must you defend evil all the time? This is how you defended Wari retrogressive government for eight years now, and you're on it again. This one here says, even when it says they are Nigerian delegate with their various titles on the side, these People still come out to say they are self-sponsored. Mm, that's another big question. Why would you call them Nigerian delegates when they are not being sponsored by the federal government? At least it should be, you know, clearly written out that these ones are sponsoring themselves, or they are private individual who find find it or found it needful to be in attendance. And this one say you are telling some part of Nigerian that doesn't reason well, but some of us that does know the game. So please rest. You all should continue wasting what is not available. In other words, someone here is saying, you are telling us as if we don't know what this government is all about, which is all about. But, but uh, somebody asked a big question here and said, which who nominated Shehi Tinibu to be there? <laughs> That's another big question. Because that guy, uh, for me, I know he doesn't really have much info when it comes to, or does not really have need for climate change, you know, conference. So why is it that? For me, I personally believe that most of the nomination came on the grounds that some of them want to go and enjoy themselves in Dubai. If you doubt me, tell each of them to tell Nigerians what they learn at that summit. Everybody, as you come back, give us summary of the things that you learn, the group you belong to during discussion, and your own contribution. At least, there should be group work here and there. What was your own contribution? Give us a video how you partook in everything that was done here so that Nigerians will understand. I think right now, Nigerians are tired of all the lies because uh, looking at the situation on ground, every reasonable government should make sure that the issue of cost of governance should not be allowed to tear down our funding. Taxpayers are doing so much to make sure that the government, you know, carry out their responsibility. So it is so wrong for anybody who calls himself government official to, on the back of taxpayers' money, enjoy himself to Dubai and back when such shouldn't happen. As I did say before now, most of them are going to get paid dime. And uh, just imagine for 13 days how much some of them will be coming back with. It's it's really disheartening. But however, I feel that with time, everything will come out, you know, in white paper for all of us to see. That's